their whole goal from the onset was to strip this company of everything it had and take it out of business. Boston-based T.H. Lee Partners acquired Michigan's Art Van Furniture in 2017. It was the beginning of the end for a job that Shirley Smith had always loved. I can truly say 100% that I loved my job and the employees were family. We all got along, just like family, we used to fight sometimes. But if anybody came against us, we all stood up against them together. So that's just the way it was. It's the way the, uh, the company was run and a great, great place to work. T.H. Lee is a private equity firm founded by the billionaire Thomas H. Lee. It took over Art Van Furniture and immediately began squeezing the company for cash. It sold off the company's real estate for nearly $400 million and forced Art Van to lease the property back. By then, Shirley had long been a seasoned salesperson and manager at Art Van. She had a sense of what worked well for customers and for employees and what didn't. A lot of things started changing. Orders started coming in slower. And when you're promising a guest that they're going to have their furniture in four weeks, and then eight weeks comes and it goes and they don't have their furniture, you get an irritated guest. So the reason the furniture started coming in slower was because, and we're figuring this out in hindsight, we weren't paying our bills on time. In some cases, not paying at all. Private equity firms are responsible for some of the most harmful business practices in the United States. They can be found looting retailers like Art Van into bankruptcy, price gouging people for vital services, shortening life expectancy in nursing homes, or destroying local newspapers. Its abuses are pervasive, stretching across the American economy through many industries. In the case of Art Van, T.H. Lee was running a typical private equity playbook. Buy the company mostly with borrowed money, loaded with debt, sell off valuable assets like real estate, and in the process, destroy the jobs of people like Shirley. One study found that private equity was responsible for the loss of 1.3 million jobs, disproportionately women and people of color. You're not paid on something until it's delivered. So morale was, was rough. It was a company that most people would tell you they love to work for, but those last three years were hell. By the time Art Van was near bankruptcy, T.H. Lee was simply lying to the employees about the fate that awaited them. They didn't tell us until the very last day. They kept telling us that they were trying to reorganize, we're trying to do this, we're trying to to get more investors, but all they were doing was setting us up for a fail. And we knew that they did because five minutes after we got off that call, they announced it on the news. Everything must go. That's the liquidation sale going on at Art Van Furniture Stores. The company filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy, offering huge savings. But CBS And then within an hour, all the signage for the bankruptcy showed up. There's no way you could print all the signage for all these stores in that shorter period of time. So you've known all along this is what you were going to do. They are shutting all Art Van stores. It was a very tense time. Things just got out of hand. One of our managers had a gun pulled on her. We had associates crying because of destruction of the company, uh, because of the destruction of a legacy. Picture Metro Detroit without mm. Art Van furniture. Well, it's not easy. It was a heartbreak for not only employees, but for our guests. And it was just a shoulder shrug for T.H. Lee. They didn't care. We can break the cycle of private equity firms destroying jobs like Shirley's and wrecking companies like Art Van by passing the Stop Wall Street Looting Act. It needs to stop. They need to push the Stop Wall Street Looting Act through. Our elected officials need to put a stop to it because they should not be allowed to keep destroying not just lives, the lives of the employees, but of the communities. Um, when you take a company out of business, you don't just hurt that company. You hurt the community it's in, you hurt the city it's in, you hurt the state it's in, and you hurt other companies that support the company you took out.